Look, I like to, I like to, I like to go by skills. And if I go by skills, because because if we go, you know, by accomplishment, well, Pacquiao should still be pound for pound for everything he's done. He's still champion, uh, and he's done so much. But uh, but skills wise. Honestly, my top three right now, and uh, and I, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will probably agree with me. I think it's Lomachenko, changeful, Crawford, and Mikey. Those are my top three pound for pound fighters. Uh, top ten, nobody even mentions Mikey because yeah, he just came back two fights after his long retirement, uh, two and a half years layoff. But, uh, but I think skills wise, it, it is Lomachenko, number one, Crawford, and Mikey. But you know, Ward has done a lot. He's a world champion. He beat uh, Kovalev. There's uh, Chocolatito still up there. And there's so many fighters out uh, that, that we, we could uh, name in the top ten. But I like I like to go for skills, skills, smart and, and being smart in the ring. And Lomachenko is probably the best at it. Mentioning Ward and Crusher, um, you matched up. Who do you see winning? Is it the same outcome? Do you see Well, I don't, I don't you know. If we see the same outcome, I think it'd be another controversial decision. Cause uh, being there, I was I was okay with with uh, Ward winning. But then when I went back home and seen the fight again, I think Kovalev won. It was close, but I think Kovalev won. I think in the rematch, Ward will make some adjustments. I think Ward does that that smart, top, that fighter that's very smart and could make a a, a big difference in the rematch. Kovalev. It's Kovalev. I think Kovalev would actually be just continue putting pressure and aiming for that power shot and try to try to knock him out. But uh, the one that would make the adjustment would probably be uh, uh, Ward. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes the other way around. You know. But uh, in boxing, me, I would pick Ward in the rematch.